There was a video uploaded several days ago by YouTuber Austin Evans titled, The New PlayStation 5 is Worse, with an emoji at the end. Within the video, he claims that the newer PlayStation 5 digital edition that he imported from Japan that has a revision done to the heat sink is worse than the original model because the temperature coming out of the back of the system is hot and the heat sink contained within the unit is smaller at face value, or at least it appeared smaller to him, therefore it is somehow worse. The methods in which he came to this conclusion are flawed and the tests are not substantial enough to support the idea or the claim that the newer PlayStation 5 is worse and I believe that it is fear-mongering at its finest to generate clickbait and find its way onto the trending page of YouTube, which is at best irresponsible. Let me tell you why. I've seen plenty of videos on YouTube. One particular video that came, comes to mind when it comes to the PlayStation 5 thermals and heat dissipation is a Gamer's Nexus video in which they use professional tools like thermal couplers and probes to measure the actual temperature of the chipsets contained within the PlayStation 5 to see the temperature at which they're running to make sure it was adequate and safe in the long term and measured the way in which the PlayStation 5 dissipates heat and air from within the system. A link to that video will be found down below in my comments section. The conclusion that Gamers Nexus, if I remember correctly, came to was that everything was adequate except for one potential issue. The RAM chips were not making proper contact with the heat shielding and could potentially lead to overheating chips in the future. But with that issue aside, everything else was adequate for them. Nothing spectacular, but adequate. Austin Evans unboxed a new PlayStation 5 on camera. It was substantially lighter at face value before he even plugged it in. And he noticed that after mounting a thermal camera on the back of an iPhone, not even using a professional thermal camera, not testing the unit to make sure it was functioning properly, and not benchmarking it multiple times to make sure that the data we were getting was conclusive and running the PlayStation 5 at multiple times throughout the day, at least based on what we saw, leads me to the idea that the test was faulty and unsubstantial. More data is needed to, pr to back up the idea or the hypothesis that the new PlayStation 5 is worse. Looking at the temperatures, the exhausts coming out of the back of the system is not directly indicative of the newer system running worse. In fact, it's very much possible that it might be the opposite. It's very much possible that the newer heat sink design might be doing a better job at dissipating heat from the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition than the original one. When you look at the video, if you quickly glance at the heat sinks, you will notice that the newer one appears to be smaller but that's in terms of its width. When you look at the height of the heatsink, it's going much closer towards the top of the motherboard. And when you see that circle cutout, that's where the fan is. So by running the heatsink higher and having additional heat fins with on that heatsink, it's very much possible that the reason the new PlayStation 5's air coming out of the back is much hotter is because it's doing a better job at taking that heat from the processors and the RAM and moving it up through the chassis, up to the fan, then out the back of the system. Again, that's just a possibility. I am not claiming that is the truth. The only way that we will ever know whether or not the PlayStation 5 edition that is currently the latest revision is better or worse is by using thermocouplers and probes on each of the chips and cross-referencing them with that of the original model. Only through that way will we know if the PlayStation 5's current revision for the digital edition is better or worse than the, than the original launch model. I would like to believe that after the Xbox 360 fiasco of the seventh generation of home consoles, many of these companies are not in the market to ship a faulty product. The Red Ring of Death fiasco caused by overheating and faulty Xbox 360 systems led to billions of dollars of losses and very poor pub PR for Microsoft in, in general. And I don't believe that Sony would wa deliberately want to ship a lesser product for the sake of cutting costs. Could I put it past them? No. But given that the PlayStation 4 systems were known for having thermal issues as well as heat dissipation, dissipation issues, I would like to believe, maybe it's naive, that the new heatsink just might be doing a better job at dissipating the heat than the previous. Because it's very much possible that the launch model PlayStation 5s, like the one hanging behind me, were over-engineered. It's been done in the past, it'll continue to be done in the future. And the engineers who do this for a living, who have basic and advanced understandings of technology, chipsets, thermals, everything you can think of, would know whether or not this revision that they've created was done for the better. So with all of that being said, I would like to leave you with a lesson here today. Let's wait 
before we jump to conclusions. I'm sure that many YouTube channels like Gamers Nexus will eventually come out with more in-depth, concrete tests that will tell us as to whether or not the newer PlayStation 5 systems are in fact better or worse than their original launch counterparts. But before I let you go, I would just like to leave you with one little analogy today to drive the point home of the possibility that I had mentioned previously. Suppose I had two PlayStation 5s like the one behind me. Both made identically, but one of the heat sinks was made of wood. The other was made of the same copper and aluminum that the stock units have. If I took a thermal camera and plugged it into the back of or bottom of my iPhone and pointed it at the PlayStation 5 with the wooden heat sink, the air coming out of the back would be at a much lower temperature than that of the one with the copper and aluminum heat sink. But if I look at that and took it at face value as to whether or not one is performing better than the other, I would say, well, the PlayStation 5 with the copper and aluminum heat sink is putting out less heat, therefore it might be running worse. When the truth of the matter is, it's quite the opposite. That hot air coming out is a good sign that the system is able to bring cool air in and therefore function without throttling the components. So with that being said, if you have seen the Austin Evans video, please share this one around with your friends because while I have no issue with YouTubers talking about what's going on or opinions, I don't like when YouTubers, especially the more professional tech enthusiast channels are deliberately spreading claims that are not backed by any kind of substantial evidence for the sake of fear mongering, and in this case, making it to the trending page. And many other YouTubers reported on it as well without waiting for concrete fact. If a video by Gamers Nexus or another professional electro uh, electronic site or YouTuber comes out and demonstrates and tells us for with absolute certainty that the new PlayStation 5 system is in fact worse at dissipating the heat from the chassis, then I will be the first one to say Austin was right. But I would also say he got lucky with that assumption. So thank you guys for watching. Please hit the, the like or dislike button, whichever you feel is appropriate. Leave me a comment down there below. And like I said, share this video around so that we can get some clarification and try to get this fear mongering tamed just a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you spending some time with me once again. Stay happy and healthy and well out there. And as always, I will see you in my next video. But until then, take care. If you've made it to this point in the video, please feel free to rate it however you see fit. And if you're new to the channel, hit the bell and the subscribe button to be notified when I upload new videos. If you're interested as well, feel free to join my Discord chat to talk with me and my subscribers about anything related to gaming. The link can be found below in the description. Until then, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.